Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm fine too. Welcome you all to NIBS Home School. This is Mahmud Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Today I'm going to take a Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 9. Our today's topic is chapter 2, section 2.1, page number 18 to 22. And this is the first class of your Bangladesh and Global Studies course for your annual term. Okay, so look at the board at first. This is the class for the students of class 9, subject Bangladesh and Global Studies, topic chapter 2, section 2.1, page number 18 to 22. I repeat again topic chapter 2, section 2.2, page number 18 to 22 term annual 2021 lecture number one and hw1 will be five mcq okay uh, look at the board this is your reading learn class the name of this chapter is the independent bangladesh today we'll discuss on section 2.1 preparation for the liberation war armed struggle and the emergence of sovereign bangladesh the Awami League achieved absolute majority in the national and provincial election held in 1970. In the presence of hundreds of thousands of people, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman saw in the provincial and national assembly members of Awami League at the then Ramna race course ground on 3rd January 1971. In the swearing in ceremony, there was a declaration of unwavering commitment to the six point and eleven point demands, which were acknowledged as public assets. The Janta of Pakistan started hatching plot not to hatching plot to not to hand over the power to Amini. Yahya Khan called for the session of the National Assembly on 3rd March 1971. Pakistan People's Party Chief Zulfikar Ali Bhutto refused to join the session in Dhaka and threatened other members to refrain them from joining. It was the part of Bhutto Yahya conspiracy. Yahya Khan postponed the session of 3rd March, signed it through a statement on 1st March using the refusal of Bhutto as a pretext. The students, the phrase signed I means for uh, and uh, that means uh, without mentioning any date okay the people of East Bengal exploded into hesitation against the decision of suspending the session without discussing uh, with Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman the leader of the party got absolute majority in the election the strikes were observed on the call of All Party Action Committee and Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on 2nd March in Dhaka and 3rd March throughout the country in protest against postponing the session. As a result, all the activities of the government came to stand still. During Hartal, police and army opened fire, leaving 100 killed and injured. Bangabandhu called for a non cooperation movement. And under these circumstances, he delivered his history speech on 7th March in a huge gathering at Rescours, now Sohrad Durdan. Addressing the people, he asked all Bengalis to participate in armed struggle for liberation. After a bloody war of nine months, Bangladesh emerged on the world map as an independent country. So this is the introduction of this chapter. The historic speech of 7 March and formal journey towards the independence. Bhagavad Sheikh Mujibur Rahman delivered a historic oration on 7 March at the race course present Sora the Uddan. In his speech, he pointed to the glorious background of the political history of the Bengalis, gave a detailed account of the oppression, misrule, and the awful deprivation of the Bengalis by the West. Pakistan government. Particularly, the origin is a history document, particularly for the Bengalis and the, for the world. 
In recognition to its value, on 13 October 2017, UNESCO added the speech in memory of the World Register as documentary heritage. Of the speeches notable in the history of the world, the speech of 7 March is remarkable and it will be important to the people aspiring freedom and independence. The Bangladesh got the inspiration for being united and the indication for joining the liberation war from the speech of 7 March. Only one token was fixed before them from then one word and it was nothing but the freedom. The Bengalis great started getting operation, sorry, preparation for the liberation war after the former call for the independence by Bangabandhu in his speech of 7 March, giving suggestions and further he asked the people, build forts in every house and face the force with whatever we have, you have, as we have sacrificed our lives will sacrifice again. We will liberate the people of this country, inshallah. This struggle is the struggle for our freedom and this struggle is the struggle for our liberation, he added. In this speech, he also highlighted the strategy of war, ways to face enemies, resisting techniques, etc. Bangabandhu clearly declared the independence of Bangladesh in his history 7 March speech. The Bengalis joined the liberation war responding to the call for independence by Bangabandhu. In the night of 25th March, the Pakistan army began Operation Searchlight, a planned military action to commit genocide against innocent Bengalis. The Bengalis were raising stiff resistance against the invading Pakistani forces. The students you can see in uh, picture number 2.1. Uh, there are thousands of people and before this uh, ocean of people, Bangamudu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is delivering his speech of 7 March. The formal journey to independence. People from all walks of life were united responding to the call for independence and the activities declared by Bangamudu on 7 March 1971. All the offices, educational institutions, Judiciary department, factories and industries remained closed, signed I. As the situation of East Pakistan was rapidly deteriorating, Yahya Khan came to Dhaka to talk to Bangamandu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Bhutto also came to Dhaka then. They were pretending as well as wasting time in the name of holding talks and meeting. But they secretly assembled soldiers arms and ammunition to East Bengal from West Pakistan as a part of the operation, a preparation of war. Tikka Khan and Rao Farman Ali designed a blueprint named the Operation Searchlight on 17 March to make the Bengalis victim of mass killings. The brutal mass killing in the history of the world civilization began in the night of 25th March. Yahya Khan and Bhutto secretly left Dhaka. The Pakistan army launched attack on the innocent people by the order of Yahya Khan and indiscriminately killed people. They attacked the police line of Rajabak, the APR camp of Pilkhana, the University of Dhaka and the other important establishments of Dhaka city and committed genocide. It is called Kalratri or blackout in the history of Bangladesh. This night is recognized as National Genocide Day. Bangabandhu declared the independence in the hours of blackout on 25th March at early hour of 26th March and transmitted the message through wireless to different places. Hearing the declaration of the independence by Bangabandhu, the people instantly initiated resistance in Chittagong. The students, this is spelling is uh, this name is changed today. The name of Chittagong is now Chattogram. Okay, so Chattogram and other districts of the country. So an uneven war broke out between Pakistan armed forces and the unarmed Ansar police and common people of East Pakistan. <coughs> it's 
It is known as the Great Liberation War of Bangladesh. Bangamandu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested at the midnight, nearly at 1.30 a.m. of 26th March, and was secretly taken away to West Pakistan. Now the Declaration of Independence. Bangamandu declared the independence of Bangladesh at the midnight of 25th March, in the early hour of 26th March, just before his he is arrested by the Pakistani army. The declaration was in English so that the people around the world could understand it. The declaration was as follows. <coughs> Sorry. This may be my last message. From today, Bangladesh is independent. I call upon the people of Bangladesh, wherever you might be, and with whatever you have, to resist the army of occupation to the last. Your fight must go on until the last soldier. Here, look at the students. In your book, this uh, word is missing, uh, misspelled. It will be soldier, not solider. The last soldier of the Pakistan occupation army is expelled from the soil of Bangladesh and final victory is achieved. Bangladesh Gadget 15th Amendment of the Constitution, 3rd July 2011. According to this gadget, uh, the Declaration of Independence is uh, written in our Constitution. The Declaration of Independence was broadcast all over Bangladesh through the radio transmitter of EPR, telegram, and teleprinter. Imahanna, a leader of Chattogram, Awamilik broadcast the Declaration of Independence by Bangabandhu at noon through Chattogram radio station and subsequently through Kalukat radio station in the evening of 26 March. Since Bangabandhu was arrested by the Pakistani army, Jia Rahman read out the Declaration of Independence on behalf of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in the evening of 27 March from the same radio station. Bangabandhu's declaration of <coughs> independence and the news of the immediate support and the participation of Bengal officers in the army, paramilitary and other forces kindled a strong enthusiasm in the people who then took part in the liberation war without any second thought. Now the commencement of the war of liberation and the activities of the Mujib Nagar government. When the war broke out and the uh, people of uh, Bangladesh alongside the army officers uh, joined the liberation war and also Bangabandhu was not present in the country, a government was formed which is called Mojib Nagar government. Now we will learn about it. Before the operation search light, Began on 25th March 1971, Bangabandhu discussed with his close associates the situation that then prevailed. He gave them directives to resist if the Pakistani army would attack. He imparted important instructions to the elected representatives about the formation of government and other matters during the liberation war. <coughs> the formation of the Mujib Nagar government was very important in the history of liberation. The mango grove of Bhadanath Thala of Mehrpur was named Mujibnagar after the name of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The Mujibnagar government was formed on 10th April 1971. This date is very much important for you. With the elected members of the National and Provincial Assembly in the 1970s general election to run the war by giving necessary directives as well as to drum up the support of the foreign countries. This was the first Bangladesh government. The order of the Declaration of Independence of Bangladesh, the Declaration of Independence was formally proclaimed on that day. The Mujib Nagar government took oath on 17 April 1971. And the government of independent Bangladesh came into being with taking this oath. <coughs> the structure of Mujib Nagar independent government was as follows. 
Number one, President and Commander in Chief of the Liberation War, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman. Number two, Vice President, Sir Nazrul Islam, or Acting President in absence of Bangabandhu. Number three, Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmed. Number four, Finance Minister M. Mansur Ali. Number five, Home Relief and Rehabilitation Minister A.H.M. Kamaruzzaman. Number six, Foreign and Law Minister Khandukar Mustaq Ahmed. So that's all uh, about the uh, section number 2.1 of today's discussion, page number 18 to 22. I hope that uh, you have uh, understood well. And this is the history of our country, how we uh, joined the struggle of 1971 and how we fought and the ultimate victory of the Bengalis. I hope that you will study at home again to uh, understand it well and you have uh, homework for today's class that is you will make five multiple choice questions okay so dear students take care of yourself attend the online classes and watch the youtube classes see you in the next class Allah Hafiz.